Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 8 of number theory. So today I'm going to solve an interesting question of number theory which is asked in Russian Mathematical Olympiad in the year 2000. So this series is made of GIF that is the square bracket denotes greatest integer function and the question is we have to evaluate the sum of the series that the series is GIF of 2 raised to power 0 divided by 3 plus 2 raised to power 1 divided by 3 and so on. It's increasing till 2 raised to power 1000 divided by 3. Now feel free to pause the video and try the question. And one more thing that is if, at the end if you love the video please like and subscribe because it takes a lot of time to find this kind of question and edit. So let's start. Now the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to make this series as compact format that is summation. I can write this as GIF of powers of 2 divided by 3. And this powers are even and odd collectively I can say n is varying from 1 to 1000 as you can see. Now as you can see the powers are odd and even. So I can create out of 2 raised to power n divided by 3 I can create 2 raised to power even and 2 raised to power odd. So I can write the same series as but before creating this if you notice the first term 2 raised to power 0 that is 1 divided by 3 is 1 by 3 is a fraction and gif of a fraction is 0. So we are going to start with for n is equal to 1. So I can write this as summation will be having gif of 2 raised to power 2n minus 1 divided by 3. This term will represent the power of 2 which is odd. And one more thing I'm going to write here that is 2 raised to power 2n. This will represent the even powers of 2. And if you notice I'm going to change n now from 1 to 500. Because for n is equal to 500 you will get 2 raised to power 1000. We don't have to go till 1000 here. Now the big idea is I'm going to write these two gifts as any number can be written as its greatest integer function plus its fractional part of x. Now I'm going to write this as gif of x as its number minus its fractional part of x. Now if I want to write the fractional part I will be needing the reminder when 2 raised to power odd is divided by 3 and when 2 raised to power even is divided by 3. So this is the basic idea here. So I am going to calculate for 2 raised to power x when 2 raised to power fx is divided by 3. I am going to write the reminders. So here we will be having two cases either we will be having 2 raised to power odd or we will be having 2 raised to power even here. So let's say for x is equal to even what happens when x is equal to even and when x is equal to odd. What are the reminders when I divide by 3. So let's say 2 raised to power I am taking even powers. So let's say 2 raised to power 2 is 4, 2 raised to power next powers is 2 raised to power 4 is 16 and so on all the numbers. If you divide this kind of numbers by 3 the remainder will be always 1 mod 3. And when you divide 2 raised to power odd that is 2 raised to power 1 is 2, 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. When you divide this kind of numbers by 3, you will always get a same reminder that is 2. So I can write this as 2 modulo 3. Now I am going to apply gif of x is equal to x minus fractional part of x in the next. Now first I am going to counter that part that is gif of 2 raised to the power odd that is 2n minus 1 divided by 3. I am going to write this as its number 2 raised to the power 2n minus 1 divided by 3 and minus will be having fractional part of x. So for fractional part of x I have two choices here. Either it will be equal to 1 by 3 or it will be equal to 2 by 3. Similarly for the next number that is greatest integer function of 2 raised to power 2n divided by 3 I am going to write this gif as this number 2 raised to power 2n divided by 3 minus the fractional part of x. So we have two choices either we have 1 by 3 or 2 by 3 here. Now I will show you which choices you have to make here. So when you divide 2 raised to power odd by 3 you will be having some remainder that is for odd I have shown you we will get 2 here. So we have to select here 2 by 3 for odd and 1 by 3 we have to reject. Similarly for 2 raised to power even I told you the remainder will be 1. So we have here we have to select 1 by 3 not 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 I am going to reject here. Now collectively if you write the series sum so series sum is 2 raised to power 2n minus 1 divided by 3 plus gif of 2 raised to power 2n divided by 3 and here summation works. So I can write this as these two numbers that is summation of 2 raised to power 2n minus 1 divided by 3 and minus here I am going to write minus 2 by 3 plus 2 raised to power 2n divided by 3 and I am going to select minus 1 by 3 here. And here n is varying from 1 to 500 as I told you. Now here we have to calculate the series of this sum. So here I am going to write summation 
uh, if you combine this you will get this as 2 raised to power 2n minus 1 plus 2 raised to power 2n divide by 3 and minus 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 will give you 1. So this is the series we are getting and here n is varying from 1 to 1000 sorry 500 which I have taken earlier. So this is nothing but uh, 2 raised to power starting from 1 to 2 raised to power 1000. So it's a GP with a common ratio 2. So this GP I can write this as 1 by 3 times summation 2 raised to power n and here n is varying from 1 to 1000 as you can see and minus you will get 1 how many times 500 times so you will get minus 500 here. So the sum of the series will be the first term of the GP multiplied by 2 raised to power the common ratio times number of terms that is 1000 minus 1 divided by 3 as it is minus 500. This will be our final answer and that will be it.